Hi, everyone. What is going on, Stockmo community? I hope you are doing well and you're ready for a good week in the market. Now, with that being said, do not expect the volatility to be over. And my question to you, are you saving up what the average person in your age bracket has in terms of retirement, 401ks, pensions, all that good stuff? Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit today. And first things first, though, give me a shout out down below. How about a high to start the week? And where are you from? And we'll go with that and we'll talk later. But I wanted to, uh, I know yesterday's video out there, I was in the, the we did the sh Mustang, uh, we did the Stang and Stocks version of the show. We were in the Shelby GT500 driving around, having a frank discussion, just talking things out. Now, uh, shout out, though, to make up for that. Gaming, thank you for your comment i appreciate that ron dean of course zenith bound of as well and lisa anderson four people there commented on my last video if you'd like to have a shout out please by all means hit the subscribe button down below and uh, put a comment down there we'll see what happens we'll see who gets shouted out in the next video uh, as we move into things <clears throat> make sure you're taking advantage of this as well real quick just all you got to do is click the link down below deposit and it's changed now you got to deposit a hundred dollars and you will get six free stocks worth up to fifteen thousand dollars take advantage of that. that's one of the best deals you're going to find out there and of course as we look at it here we go check it out and uh what do we got here retirement savings account balances by age under 25 the median now remember for those who aren't up on these uh, the statistics here it is. Median, you got 50% of the people below you, 50% above you. The average is the mean. That is the average of everybody together. And there's usually a few outliers out there. Some people out there have billions of dollars or hundreds of millions. It skews everybody up higher. So the median gives you a great idea uh, sometimes when we're talking about dollar figures. So the median account uh, balance for retirement, uh, I'm not surprised there. Under 25, 1.8. 25 to 34 people are starting to get the retirement accounts rolling up. They got 14.1 thousand. 10 years later, they have only taken it to 36.14. And then, of course, 45 to 54, the medium, 61.5. And 55 to 64, uh, you know, you're getting that retirement age, and they still have 89.7. Uh, the average amount, of, or not the average, the median amount of money is 87.7. And so the average you can see over here, and that's including all the big money out there, the Jeff Bezos and the Zuckerberg and all them. And that is your number right here. Uh, so if I was talking about the average, uh, are you above the average? Are you below the average? Let me know in the comments down there. I've been doing good. I've always been saving as much as I can. So I am above the average, thankfully. And I have that teacher's pension too. Me and my wife both taught for a very, very long time. So add that in there. We're doing very, we were doing very, very well. And that's even without the YouTube money out there, of course. And so we were, we were trying to save it over 10% of every paycheck, over 10%. Sometimes it got up to like 20% if it was a good year. And so we were saving as much as we could for many, many, many years. Uh, so we did well. We did well. And uh, let's see. So as we look at what is going on, we're going to get over here and check out the pre-market. And so as we get the pre-markets, you can see it's a, a lot of red right now. And so after uh, and before you panic here, remember, that's a lot of red. But keep in mind, we've had a great, great month, 12.35% up, seeing a 1% or 2% give back. We had that before. Look. We dropped down here about 3.3%. Next leg up a little bit, boom, uh, we moved to a new high. Then from that, we dropped down to about 4.12%. From there, what happened? We rolled up to a new high. And so we're seeing between 3 and 4% drops after new highs. The question becomes, are we going to start that again? And we just might this week. We just might. And it would make sense to me, you know, we had a lot of green yesterday, a lot of people pricing in things from the Fed. But at the end of the day, we see a few days of red and then a new high. Could it continue? Let's hope so. Uh, I feel like we could see a really good Q4. There's still a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. A lot of people out there that believe we're going to crash down before the end of the year. 16% up from those lows when everybody was telling me at this point, 
that the NASDAQ was going to drop down to 9,000. There's no way it's going to recover. Why talk about being bullish? Well, it's because we like bear burgers, you know? Uh, we like to eat those bear burgers. So right now you saw it climb dramatically. In the S&P 500, when I it was down to 3,600, we were talking about, uh, I still they said, do you still believe it could get up to the mid to four, high 4,000s? I said, absolutely. I believe there's a lot of things in place for that to happen before we see a big recession in 2023. And yeah, you can have a rally before the really bad stuff happens. I've seen it happen many, many times through the decades. So I believe that's going to happen again. And we're and, and since then, take a look at this, 12.39% up. Now we're only a few hundred points away from hitting those numbers that we talked about. If we hit them too fast, it's going to make me wonder what I should do. And that's something we're going to have to talk about. A NEO, a lot of people know NEO is absolutely one of my biggest positions in my portfolio. I've been just quietly watching it. People are wondering, hey, did he sell any of his NEO? No, I didn't sell any of my NEO. We've been buying NEO for a while now. Uh, we had that good run up there where we got actually 89% back. Fantastic. Of course, the lockdowns of China happened again. A lot of bad things happening over there. And what do we see? 18% drop. So until some of that's taken care of, you're going to continue to see volatility in this. I will say it again. My NEO stock price prediction for the end of the year was $30. I hope to see that happen. But as the lockdowns come and they get stronger, we have COVID cases flaring up around. They start locking everything down. That could have a major impact on the stock to re for the remainder of the year. Now, I still believe we're going to hit that 30, though. So I'm not giving up hope on that. Another one, though, somebody, somebody asked me about it. Hey, can you talk about SoFi? Absolutely. I still think SoFi has a good opportunity. Uh, but this has been beat up. And if you look at it, this thing, oh, wow, look at this. It got crushed down 77%. But since that 77%, I told you a lot of these risk on assets, these these stocks that are in very, the high growth, they're newer. Uh, here's the problem with them. You're going to see them dealing with what we talk about. But I, I believe we're going to have a lot of sideways trading until the Fed pivots. Once they pivot, they're going to rally big time. And that could be another six months to uh, a year. It could be that long. And so as you're seeing this, finally, the drop was very dramatic. But now you're seeing it kind of like the, the May 10th was the low. And, you know, we got back kind of down there a little bit, retested it, moving higher. But now kind of sideways. It's been a couple months. We're, we're still trading sideways. And so is that what it's going to be with a lot of these stocks? It could be until the Fed pivots. Until people have an idea what's going on, a lot of people are taking money out of these more risky plays. And that's something that we're all out there kind of watching uh, and seeing where things go. Uh, don't sleep on Ethereum. Of course, you know, it was above 1700 to end the week. But just like the free markets are a little bit red, we know over the last five days, you saw this thing kind of top out there, I think right around here, 1761. And then from there, we're down about 4%. Remember, September 19th is the day. I think if all goes well there, you're going to see a lot of rallying up into September 19th. And on top of that, moving past that, any kind of lockup periods like, you know, with the lockups from staking it, that's always going to add a lot of volatility. But that will sort itself out over a week or two. And then from that point on, I think you'll, you'll see a nice steady increase in the price until that's fully priced in. And so we're going to watch that. But 1686 right now. Up, like I said, 59.5%. Doing a really nice job over the last month. The check out last week, only 3% over the last five days. But uh, I'm not going to complain. Now, over the last six months, we did have that drop down. And even then, though, look at that, 62% up in a matter of two and a half weeks. That's the thing I like about crypto. It, I always said it can move 50% up or 50% down in any given week. But if you don't like that kind of risk, Definitely is uh, something you should probably avoid. Personally, I have a good amount of my overall portfolio in crypto, most of that in Ethereum. So I feel pretty good about that. Just to give you an idea of the portfolio to start the week, 1.79% down for VOO. Remember, the overall market year to date. What is year to date? This is what we're trying to beat. S&P 500, 13.89%. The portfolio is at 1.79. So we are beating it. Uh, by using our strategies of dollar cost averaging to help reduce the risk. Of course, I throw it all in day one. 
and we are above it by what 11 12 percent so we're doing well there uh conservative 5.6 percent we'll see how the financials and energy do uh 14.73 percent for the aggressive and then of course crypto 20.74 this is the talladega nights one and if you're either going to be first or last when it's coming to this one i still think if the merge goes well this could rally big time to end up being first we're going to find out as we move forward so that is a, a big amount of information to, to take a look at as we start this week if you haven't done it join me at the patreon down below i got the portfolios we should be starting to leverage sometime this week and i think we're gonna have a live stream as well over at uh either Keenan's or Larry's channel. Uh, we'll talk about that as we get closer to Wednesday. And uh, like I said, the, the the Patreon link down below, though, you can join up, see all the portfolios, including the new leverage one, which should be coming out over the next few days, as well as the private Discord thousands of members. Check out Don't Sleep on that free cash from Moomoo. Click that link down below. Deposit $100 or more. Get six stocks worth up to $15,000 altogether. Take advantage of that and uh that's it that's it we got the weeble link as well uh, deposit anything and even a dollar and you'll get six stocks worth up to 102 uh, not 100 worth up to 12,600 it's a really good opportunity as well i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money